Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in today's video, let's unbox the new Redmi 4X and take a quick look. Well, isn't the Redmi 4A what launched in India? Oh yeah, I'm still trying to buy one, but my order for the 4X came through, so I decided to unbox that first. So in case it wasn't obvious, I imported this one from China. So opening up the box, we've got the 4X itself. Feels kind of like a smaller uh, Redmi Note 4X, that, that's the Snapdragon variant of the Redmi Note 4. Let's peel this plastic off. Note that the chamfered edges are replaced by slimmer tapered edges here. Let's set it aside for the time being. Getting back to what's in the box, we've got some reading material, some ejector tool, a micro USB cable and the travel adapter. Now getting back to the 4X and taking a closer look at the emplacements, we have the power button and the volume rockers to the right, the primary microphone speaker and a micro USB port reside at the bottom, an IR blaster, secondary noise cancelling microphone and a 3.5mm headphone jack can be found up top. To the left, here's where we can find a tray that can take either two SIMs or a SIM and a micro SD card. To the front, on top, we've got the sensors, earpiece and a 5 megapixel front facing camera. That's followed by a 5 inch IPS LCD panel. The resolution here is 720p, making for a respectable 294 pixels per inch. The display though looks a little warm, my initial impressions. Anyway, that's followed by a regular capacitive keys and a notification LED. Note that these capacitive keys are not backlit. To the back, we've got a 13 megapixel shooter, a single LED flash, the fingerprint scanner, and Xiaomi branding. The plastic top and bottom stick out due to the difference in shades of gold here. Given the price segment, one can't really complain. Underneath the hood, the 4X is powered by the Octa-Core Snapdragon 435 chip. It's available in flavors of 216 and 332 RAM storage. It also has a 4100 mAh battery. And given that battery capacity, it still weighs in at the 150 gram mark. Now that's impressive. Out of the box, the Redmi 4X runs on Android 6 Marshmallow with Xiaomi's MIUI 8.2 on top. Since this phone's imported from China, I had to sideload Google Play services onto it. MIUI on the Redmi 4X seems snappy. We've got the regular MIUI features here. I have a dedicated video on what's new with MIUI 8 and I'll leave a card to it here. Check it out for more information on it. Given that the camera is right up top now, the fingerprint scan has been moved up a little bit. Ergonomically, it feels a little uncomfortable to use, my initial impressions at least. That said, the fingerprint scanner itself feels fast and responsive as always. This here is an active fingerprint scanner that can wake the Redmi 4X from sleep. For the camera, Xiaomi has gone with a 13 megapixel shooter again, but this time around, the aperture is f2.0. The shutter response seems quick. Remember the Redmi 4 and Redmi 4 Prime had 13 megapixel shooters with a narrower f2.2 aperture. Anyway, there's support for face deduction out of focus, and these are some camera samples we quickly shot around the office. What do you think about them? Let us know in the comments below. This Redmi 4X is priced at 699 yuan, that's about 7,000 rupees or 100 US dollars. The 332 variant comes in at 899 yuan, that's about 9,000 rupees or 130 US dollars. While the 216 variant seems like a marginal step up from the Redmi 4, the 332 variant is actually a step down from the Redmi 4 Prime, because remember, the resolution of the Redmi 4 Prime was uh, full HD and it also came with a 625 chip. And the 435 is definitely a step down and it's very weird given that uh, the 332 variants are priced similarly for the 4 Prime and the 4X. Anyway guys, I'll continue testing this phone out and I'll come out of the full review quite soon. So that's it for this quick little unboxing and hands on. If you hated this video, go ahead, vote it down. But if you did like it, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have already subscribed, do this to make sure you get notified each time a new video goes live here on C4E Tech. If you do want to pick a Redmi 4X right now, you can use my links from the description below. Use it. Helps the channel out. That's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.